In this video, I will show you how you can create smart bins in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. Imagine you have all of your footage in your media bin completely chaotic, and there would be a way how you can create folders, bins, just automatically using DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And there is a way, and it's called smart bins. There's even a shortcut that you can use, and here there is a smart bin. I just created a couple of smart bins, and it automatically understands images, a roll, music, all of this totally automatic. How can you open this? So number Number one, you have to be in the edit page and then you can go here to the three dots and under the three dots you can open the smart bins. Don't confuse it with the power bins. I made another video where I showed you power bins and everything, everything that you create as a template that sits here inside in the power bins and can be used in all of your projects. That's not the one we want. We want the smart bins. So we click here and we go to smart bins. And the way smart bins works is if you go into a free area here, you can right click and say add smart bin. So now you will get this window here and you can give it a name. So for example, in this case, let's say we want to have all of our images, just the images. And you have a couple of different options that you can choose here from. To make it very simple, it's basically you can tell him what to look for and then it will apply those values to your videos, to your stills, to everything that you put in your media bin. So in that case, we keep this one here as media pool properties. Instead of file name, we go for example here down to clip type and we say clip type is and now not video or video and audio. You see, it's already sorting my stuff here. No, we want stills for images. And now we can even say, for example, show in all projects. If I click this one here, you will always have access to this new created folder that we now call images2 because I already made a folder for image. And if I click this one here, show in all projects, even if you create a new project, you will have access to this folder. Or even if you open an older project, it will have this new folder structure in. You can always delete them, but it's just easier if you already have this. So we just check this one, say create, and now we have image too. You see also here, they come here under user smart bins. That's the one that is open in all projects. If you don't make this, then you will just see that like this one here. And another way how you can open those is just with the keyboard shortcuts. So for example, in my case, I have it on number nine. I can open this or close it. The same with the power bins, number eight. And how you can do this is by opening the shortcuts menu, option, command, and K. And then you search here for smart bin. Then you have a couple of functions for smart bins and we're talking about now view, show, smart bin. And I place this to number nine. So just give it a keyboard shortcut because by default on the iPad, there is no keyboard shortcut for that. But you can also always open this when you go here through to the three dots and then you say show smart bin. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bam bang gong and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.